What up guys, I am back. Uh, I'm gonna do another video on my Jeep. And I see these videos all the time and I think they're very cool because they give you insight, um, especially when you're interested in the car. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you insight, what I love and what I hate about my 2001 Jeep Cherokee Sport. Um, so let's start with what I love. Overall, I love this thing to death. Um, as I stated in another video, this would be the last car for me to get rid of. Yeah, it would be the last car. I love her shape. It's a box on wheels. Nothing spectacular, but it's just iconic. Um, everyone knows this box. Um, for those who have a little bit more um, information, not information, but insight, they know how cool this vehicle actually is. So I love the shape of it, I love the box. It sucks for aerodynamicness, but I just love, it's simple. I love how simple this is. And overall, I love the simplicity of this Jeep. Um, I just love it. Uh, the next thing that I love about it, which you can see right here, that four by four. Um, out the box, this thing is a beast and I pretty much will put my money against any SUV, against a Cherokee or a Wrangler. I'm a little biased, but the Wranglers, the Cherokees, they are phenomenal when it comes to off-roading. Um, this car here is factory. It's completely stock. Mine is a CD player and tenant windows. This thing, it, it, it becomes Spider-Man when I turn on the four-wheel drive, right up a wall if I needed to. Um, so I love the four by, the four by four feature. I love um, the shape of it. Um, next is the motor. Um, it's the it's the inline six. You know, it's, it's the uh, 4.0 liter. It's not a ton of horsepower. I don't know it off the top of my hand. It's torquey. You know, this thing can move off the line, but top speed, eh, it's not there. But this motor, it's not about power. This motor is about dependability, reliability, and it will last. Um, I said in my last video, and I'm saying it in this one, you will see a Wrangler, you'll see a Cherokee, and they're rusted out, ratted out, body looks like it could just collapse at any moment. But that motor, that motor is going strong. I mean, it's not uncommon for these things to reach 500,000 miles. They're, they're, it's, it's iconic. Um, so the motor itself, you know, you take care of this thing, even the older ones that have a million thousand miles on them, um, they may drop a little bit of oil, but they're still going strong. Um, so it's this inline six, you know, it, it's, uh, it's easy to work on. Um, if you're not, you know, mechanically inclined, this is still a, a very simplistic motor and car to work on. So, this makes a great first vehicle for someone. This makes a great vehicle for someone who doesn't have a lot of money to spend, but they want to keep a vehicle going. Um, it makes great for a project vehicle, so for someone who wants something to work on that they won't get overwhelmed. So that's that's it, that's it there, so. All right, on the inside. What I love 
about the Jeep. Um, pretty much it, it goes back to everything I said outside. Um, it's just simple. You know, uh, the little multicolor seats, it's, it's great. You know, I, it just has the vibes of the 90s and I love it. It's, uh, it, it's very basic. It gets you what you need. You, you know, you got your four wheel drive. It's, you know, it's, it's rugged. It's a rugged car. If you want comfort features, um, if you want all that, then a Jeep is probably not for you. Um, if you want all that, it's, it's definitely not for you. Uh, uh, so, you know, the interior is just, it, once again, it's just, it's a simple car, you know, it works. I've, I've had no problems out of mine. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't know what else to say, you know, I don't, the seats let down easy. There's, you know, adequate cargo room. Uh, it could be a family vehicle. It could be a bachelor vehicle. It depends on how you want to use it. It could be your weekend vehicle your mountain vehicle your rock vehicle you got options um i did see some cool ones that have like ls swapped now oh, that's pretty awesome all right so i've talked about what i love and what i like about this vehicle so let's get down to what i don't like um since we're in the interior we'll just we'll stay here um what i don't like about the vehicle um and i get it it's it's a very rugged vehicle but i hate i hate this plastic dash it's just it looks nice it's fine but i just do not like it you know it's you know it's as you can see and you can hear it's just it's just cheap but you know jeep was not going for high-end class on this vehicle they wanted something rugged and that's what they produced a rugged vehicle that can handle any terrain um so um that's it you know another thing that could be better the air conditioner i actually had this one replaced by the dealership under warranty which was great um so it could still blow a little better but i won't complain it's a 2001 it's a jeep and we all know if the weather's good you know what turn up the music and uh let those windows down uh, my my other gripe was uh i think it came with a cassette um my first thing that i did to this car I quickly got rid of that and I put a CD player in there. Um, from there, I uh, I kept with that. And so that my mods for this vehicle has only been a CD player and tenant windows. So actually I think I have 5% all around, it's illegal, but it looks damn good and I like it. Um, so CD player, um, speaker quality is not that great. So we're just gonna lump that in better audio. Um, but once again, if you want the Bose, if you want the Infinity, then you should probably um, get your higher end vehicle. I mean, this this is basic. So um, now we'll go to the exterior. What I don't really like about this car, but with it being a box and wheels, there's no aerodynamicness to it. So gas mileage, it's shot on this. But then again, you don't get a Jeep for great gas mileage. Um, but on the flip side of that, it's a guzzler, but you could put Regular gas in here, no premium. So just regular and let it, 87, you're good to go. Um, but as much as I love the exterior, the part that drives me crazy is that this trim, it just does not stay black. So I am gonna one day take this off, um, see if I can condition it and get it black. I've done it once before, and you can tell here on this back bumper, it just did not really withstand. Um, so my goal is to go back and try it again. If that doesn't work, um, just spray them, get it painted. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to think because this, this vehicle is just so simple. I'm trying to think what else I don't like about it. Um, obviously my, my like list is a lot longer than my, my dislike list or I wouldn't have this vehicle. Um, as I said before, I think this is a great first vehicle. I think this is just a great everyday all around vehicle for anyone. Um, this is my take the dog to the dog park. Um, this is my load the fishing rods and fishing poles in the back and go fishing vehicle. This is just my whatever. 
At the time, I forget I even have her because I don't like driving her. I like keeping the miles off of her. Um, but just going around, I don't know my other complaint. Yeah, I don't know. So, any anyone who's interested in a Jeep, hopefully this vehicle has helped her. All right, so anyone who's interested in a Jeep, I hope that this vi video has helped you in some kind of way. Um, anyone who's interested in a Jeep, I, I say feed that fuel, feed that interest, get you one. You know, if you want to get handy, you want to learn how to work on cars, this is a great car. This is a great motor to learn on. Um, if you're looking for a project, this is, a, you know, it's, it's cheap um, and it's easy. It's just easy to work on. So, um, you know what, I will do a lot more videos um, as time goes on on the Jeep and, you know, we'll see if things change and if I add anything else to her. But for now, you know, I, I like the way she is. I like that she's stocked. She needs a, she needs a bath and I apologize for her being dirty. Uh, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, thank you for your support.